Okay. So let's jump back on here, and... Here we have a Hungry Luma. We know how these guys work. If you have that amount of star bits, you can actually pay the Luma. And by doing that, you'll unlock a new galaxy or a new route. So let's uh, go ahead and feed this little guy. Okay, 300. I didn't want to feed them all at once because I didn't want to. I didn't want that loom to get super bloated or anything. But yeah, um, that'll unlock a new galaxy over here. And ooh, that one looks like fun. Shame we're gonna do the other one first anyway. <laughs> uh, so what do we have up here? Um, this is Spin Dig Galaxy. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of more interested in this galaxy anyway because of. Uh, the gimmick that'll be introduced here. Okay, dig a legs planet. So this will actually introduce a new I guess you could call it a new power-up. It's not like a traditional Mario power-up or anything. Uh, but this is a spin drill. If you shake it, you will start digging and basically go to the other side of the planet. In some cases, it'll help you find some secrets. In some cases, like here, you know there's a one-up over there. So if you go to the opposite side of the planet, you can figure out how to get that mushroom. Kind of a cool gimmick. It's, again, a great utilization of the, uh, basically, the spherical planets of this game. That is one thing I feel like you got to give this game credit for, is that it definitely uses um, its own mechanics to its benefit. Mario games, in general, just have a good uh, history with that kind of stuff. As much crap as I give Sunshine sometimes, even I admit that Sunshine had some good uh, production values and based on the game's mechanics that it did have, uh, they, they, they did what they could and they definitely used anything to their advantage whenever they could. It's still my least favorite uh, 3D Mario game though. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, we can use the uh, we can use the drill to figure out where exactly we need to dig in certain aspects of this level. And another thing that's kind of cool is that if you uh, go back here, or if you go back to the other side, you'll see where you actually tried digging before, so you know that okay, well this didn't really lead anywhere, so I don't, I don't have to dig from there. Kind of cool again that they do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make this, but I'm going to go down here first, so I can grab that Comet Metal. The more appropriate thing you had to do was dig from there to get there, but... Yeah, might, might as well find the sweet spot first, I guess, that makes sense. Can I actually... Okay, no, I can't do that. Okay, let me go back here. Bonk. <laughs> ah! Oh god, do not fall off. <laughs> Whatever you do, Mario, do not fall off. I'm gonna try to grab this one up before... 
Disappears. Bonk. Yeah, there's another one. I don't think I had to defeat all of those. I think that was just there for being there as obstacles. Oh, here's one thing I want to do. I do like the little bonus rooms that are just kind of like very quickly destroy everybody. And again, they're worth the going into because they give you star bits, which, as we just established from that path we unlocked, star bits will be necessary throughout the game. Okay, so we got that. I'll grab some more of those star bits over there, and now we gotta find our way to the next part of the level, which I think is over here. Wait up! Where'd you come from? <laughs> okay. Man, the Goombas! Gotta admit, the Goombas are very aggressive in this game. Probably the most aggressive Goombas I've ever seen. And, like, they were aggressive in, like, Super Mario 64. If they saw you, they did start kind of, like, walking towards you and trying to hit you. But these are, like, mad dashing right at you. Which I find interesting. Okay. Let me grab some star bits from these plants. And I guess just here is where we need to... Whoa! So yeah, whenever you have a hollowed out planet, you can find uh, little goodies like this around as well. Now that's what we want to find right there. Whoa! Look who it is! It's you, Mario, right? Like our new ship, it's called the Star Shroom. We're shoving off soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. I found this nifty headlamp, so I am now the Toad Brigade Captain. There's a pretty scary monster just past here. Be careful. So yeah, the Toad Brigade is back. Also, these guys are back. You can essentially, if you want to, you can buy a health mushroom, or you can buy a uh, extra life. I feel like the... I feel like the health mushrooms are probably the more important things to do. And you can use uh, 30 star bits, but you know what? I don't think I'll actually need that. If I had, like, 300 star bits or something, I'd consider it, but, like... I don't think this boss is going to be that difficult. Here's boss number three already. Yeah, like, like I said before, a lot of bosses in this game. We've been the three planets, and we've had three bosses for each single planet. And that's pretty much all we have to do for this boss. Okay, that was me messing up right there. You essentially wait until he... There's this thing, then you just use your drill, pop back up, and then try to take out that sweet spot that has the star. Ah, damn it. I messed up. Ah, oh, but I got him right there. Oops. Okay, I'll be a little more patient now. Oops. Oh, come on! I thought I... Ah! That's annoying. You gotta be exactly parallel with him. And there I go, I lose it. I'm about to die as well. 
And I have to start over. My god, what the hell is wrong with me here? Damn it! Ugh, come on. I actually ended up freaking losing to this boss after I was like, I don't need a health mushroom. <laughs> But I got him. But yeah, the perspective was messing with me because, like, there were times where if you wanted to move left or right, you move left or right, but then you had to move up and down in some cases, too, so that just kind of messed with my controls a little bit. But it's 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 not bad. I, I made that look harder than it actually was. <clears throat> okay. That is the first mission of Spindrig. Spindig Galaxy. Spindrig. That's not even a word. <laughs> and that'll actually open up a few new planets as well. Uh, normally, yeah, you don't need to actually uh, get a certain amount of stars to progress. Uh, if there's like a star platform, then yeah, you do need a certain number of stars. But for most cases, like, as long as you get one star from a galaxy, you can move on. No problem. Oh, one of my little stars is back. I was wondering what happened to the little feller after he fell off. He built a ship to get back, huh? That's my crew for you. Uh, those guys are all friends of yours, right? <laughs> if you ever want to visit that ship, you can... Get there with the warp pad. So yeah, more examples of what I talked about earlier. Uh, you can visit those guys if you really want to. Again, not really a point to, though. <laughs> we'll do it now, just to kind of show you how to get there. But uh, Again, I wouldn't really say there's a point, unless you want that mushroom. When that Bowser monster did us in, I fell to the ground in front of that castle. Your friends wanted to help you find the Power Stars, so we Lumas all pulled together and built this ship to get them there. Well, that's kind of cute. Hi Mario, we are the Toad Brigade. Our goal is to find Power Stars and save Princess Peach. Worry not, because we've got it all under control. This mission is child's play for the Toad Brigade. Yeah, although I bet I'm probably going to get all the stars and you guys aren't going to do crap. Just my own personal opinion. I think that's probably how this is going to end up going. Also, Lubbo, why are you here? Oh, one of my... Lo oh, okay. That was the... Okay, no, stop. I don't need to hear it. I get I get it. <laughs> he built a star... He built a, he built a starship. Yeah, yeah, yay for him. I, I just found it weird he was here and not at the uh, helm of the ship where he normally is. I guess I guess he just wanted to take a break or something. Didn't wanna didn't wanna be at the helm of the ship that much. Okay, let's go back to Spindig Galaxy again. Okay, we have Silver Stars down deep. That's right, the Silver Stars are back. And yep, we're going to be using the uh, Spin Drill even more intimately than we were using it before, so... Hooray for that. We also have Piranha Pla- Uh-oh! Cosmic Clones! Whoa, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, as you can see, like, they're gonna keep on following us, and, uh, th this is pretty much what they do. They copy your movements, so to speak, so... Be careful with them. Hey. And they hurt, too. Thankfully, there's not many cosmic clones, so we don't have to deal with them too much, but they still are annoying. And bonk. And there we go. Let's go ahead and go to a bonus area. Uh, okay. So they're actually not going to give us a, uh... Uh, 
Not going to give us a star this time, but that's okay. These guys aren't too bad to deal with anyway. Missed out on some of the one-ups though. Okay, I think that's kind of cool. Kind of cool you can do little maneuvers like this and you kind of bounce off the edges. It's, it's like mini golf a little bit. How you kind of, when you're mini golfing, you use like those uh, corners to kind of uh, get yourself to the hole in a more straightforward uh, progression. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I'm gonna screw that up. Was that how I was supposed to get down here? I hmm, feel like I missed a lot of stuff though. Okay, another star shroom ship. How is that toad sleeping upside down? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Video game logic. Video game logic. <laughs> Okay. So now that we're in the uh, the main part of this level, we have to get the silver stars. You can generally find out where they are just by kind of uh, being smart and uh, looking at the uh, layout of the area around you. Okay, there's one silver star right there. Another one right there. Yeah, you can also look for sections like these to find, uh, star bits. I, oh, I could be using my cursor, though. Okay, cursor, what the hell? Why are you taking so long to respond in some cases? It's... I don't appreciate that. I feel like you can make this. It doesn't look like you can, but I'm pretty sure you can. Either way, if I go back up here, I can uh, get that one silver star, preferably from the top. I just need one more. Okay, I can't do that. Yeah, whenever I go underground, like, the cursor just, like, acts up and disappears. I don't understand why it's doing that. Honestly, getting to be kind of irritating. Either way, though, we got all the silver stars. That'll give us a power star. So, let's do this to, uh... Oh, nope, can't do that. Well, I can do this, though. There we go. And that'll pretty much do it for uh, Spin Dig Galaxy. So uh, I'm going to test something really quick. Hold on, guys. Okay, I kind of angled my uh, TV screen a little bit, so it's uh, maybe more in front of my, uh, or not in front, but behind my uh, Wiimote sensor bar. See if that'll maybe fix the weird little calibration issues I've been having. Uh, so yeah, now that we've beaten that galaxy, we get something in this little power-up room. We don't get to use these. This is just like the weirdest thing, where this is not really a... Uh, power-up room it's more of a power-up museum of the different abilities we get in this game again it's weird like it's like if they give you this they'd kind of expect you well maybe I can use it in the freaking small hub world but no it's just there it's just there to look pretty I guess 
Uh, but yeah, that's gonna actually do it for Spin Dead Galaxy. That's our third galaxy completed. So, let's actually go to a one-off galaxy. We have the Flip Swap Galaxy. One-off galaxies are usually galaxies that just have one star. So as a result, there's not really a lot you'll get from these galaxies. They usually just have one star and then a comet star. But, um... These will usually be gimmicks of some kind. Where in the case of this one, these are the flip swap panels where whenever you do the spin jump, you will flip the color of these tiles and vice versa. So you have to do some very, very careful platforming in this stage. But these stages are also very fun to speedrun too, I find. Because you kinda you kinda start thinking, okay, well, how much can I skip uh, by doing this, like right here? They can just be, like again, really, really fun sections to speedrun. And there are Comet Medals here, so don't forget about those. So be on the lookout for those while you're doing your uh, platforming. And again, this is where I just feel like Super Mario Galaxy 2 shines, is that they have all these gimmicks, but the gimmicks themselves work really, really well. And when I say they work well, I really mean they work well. Like, it feels very cohesive. It doesn't really interrupt or interfere with gameplay at all. It just works really, really nicely. And that's why I freaking love this game. This is why I think this is a very good game, and probably why a lot of people love Galaxy 2. And even those who might love it more than Galaxy 1, which I personally cannot see that, but, uh, you know... There are people who do love this game more than Galaxy 1. If they do, more power to them. They can enjoy this game for more than what I do. When I already enjoy the game as it is. But yeah, again, th this just feels so natural. Like, it feels so natural to do. Well, I feel like other platforming games, when they'd have, like, a gimmick like this, it'd be just, like, very, very, like, intrusive. But here, it's not intrusive at all. I'm just kind of having fun doing platforming like you normally do in Mario games. And the level's already over, too, which is kind of a shame. But we grabbed the Comet Medal, we grabbed the Star. That's all she wrote, pretty much. Can't wait to go back there, because uh, I'm sure they'll definitely give us uh, a puzzle or a challenge of some kind when we do go back. Okay. You brought back a star bunny? Hehe. <laughs> know the one thing in these galaxy cuter than one of those? Nothing, that's what. Har har har. Did I get you on that one? So yeah, once again. Character, useless character. Don't really need to talk about it that much. Well, it looks to me like the cute critter wants to tell you something. Well, okay. If it has something to tell us, I'll listen to it. But, um... Wait, what? Alright, listen up, because I don't want to say this more than once. See that toad? He started collecting star bits for safekeeping. Thinks he's some sort of happy bank or something. Why don't you go over there and check it out for me? So, <clears throat> uh, first of all, I'll go to the bunny first, because the bunny, they, they mentioned the bunny first. Okay, shake the Wiimote when you're in mid-jump. Spinning will give you just a little more oomph. How do you think I jump so high, Boing? Try it with me. So basically teaching me something I already knew. Thank you, I guess. Unnecessary, but whatever. Okay, so we have this guy right here. This is Bank Toad. Mario, guess what? I decided to become a banker. If you give me star bits to hold on to, I can help you share your star bits with other players using save files. Or if you're playing solo, I can still hold on to your star bits. I'll try and get more to add to your total. Right now, I have 9,999 in all. Would you like to make a deposit or withdrawal? No. I guess I could if I ever need to open up something and I don't have enough to do that, but I think the game gives you plenty of star bits to work with. Now, I, <clears throat> now here's the thing. Uh, this bank toad, you actually do need to save up 9,999 star bits the first time you play this game if you want to unlock everything. 
uh, because I believe if you do that, that is one of the requirements for unlocking the final galaxy of the game. So don't ignore this guy. Uh, you do need to save up star bits, but uh, basically there'll be plenty of galaxies where you can hoard star bits very easily. Wait till those uh, get a lot of star bits there, then come back and just put them all in here. That's essentially how I did it. But um, yeah, this guy is important from what I remember. Again, there that that was just what I was told back then. Maybe uh, these days they found a better way to unlock the final galaxy, but I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do with a fresh save file anyway. And remember, you can use basically all your files at once. You don't have to just do it all in one file. You can save up to 9999 with all files. That's why it had that many to begin with. 